Hello and welcome to Textbook Engineering Problem. Today we're working out of Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes, 3rd edition. We're doing problem number 3.5. Liquid benzene and liquid N-hexane are blended to form a stream flowing at a rate of 700 pounds mass per hour. An online densitometer, an instrument used to determine density, indicates that the stream has a density of 0 0.850 grams per milliliter. Using specific gravities from table B1, estimate the mass and volumetric feed rates of the two hydrocarbons to the mixing vessel in American engineering units. State at least two assumptions required to obtain the estimate from the recommended data. Okay, well, let's write down what they gave us. 3.5. First they gave us that the mass flow rate of the mixture is 700 pounds mass per hour. The density of the mixture is 0 0.850 grams per milliliter. Component one is benzene. Component two is hexane. And the densities are as follows. Okay, I converted these into kilograms per meter cubed because um, I think it'll be easier to convert from there. Okay, now what do we know? What do we want to know? We're trying to figure out the mass and volumetric feed rates of the, of the streams. Okay, so we've got this mixer unit here. And we've got one stream coming in right here and another stream and they have a mass flow rate of benzene and a volumetric flow rate of benzene and then we have a mass flow rate uh, and volumetric flow rate of hexane and then we have a certain amount coming out and we know what m dot is okay well, let's go ahead and assume that because these chemicals, benzene and hexane, are very similar um, in chemical structure, let's assume that um, when we mix them together, that the volume is conserved. Um, so let's assume that V1 plus V2 is equal to V3. The other assumption we need to make is that the two streams going into the mixer are perfectly mixed before they leave the mixer. Okay, and if we assume that, then we can use the function the volume equals the mass over the density to calculate the different streams. So let's divide um, this side by um, the total mass flow rate so that we can get mass fractions. Okay. And then we have um, the law of conservation of mass. we get this function. 
that the mass fraction of component 1 plus the max fraction of component 2 is equal to 1. Well, from there, we've got two equations and two unknowns. The first equation is this equation, and the two unknowns are x1 and x2. We know all the densities. And in the second equation, the two unknowns are x1 and x2, the same unknowns, and their densities don't factor into this one, so this is a different equation. It's a mass balance equation, whereas this one's the volumetric balance. Um, and so we can use these two equations, because they're independent, to solve for the two variables. Um, this is an algebra problem, so I won't go into how to solve this directly, but um, you can use any method you'd like, using a matrix um, to solve it, or using substitution, or, you know, whatever you, you, you're most comfortable with. I'm going to go ahead and use a matrix to solve it. So I'll just plug these two equations into the calculator and, and uh, calculate what x1 and x2 are. And x1 is equal to Okay, so we've solved for x1 and x2, so now we know the mass fractions. Mass 1 equals the total mass flow rate times the mass fraction. And this equals 628.5 pounds mass per hour. Then we've got mass 2, similar manner we can figure out, and this equals 71.539. Now if we add these two um, together, we should get the total mass of 700. And sure enough, yeah, it looks like that is the case. So it looks like we did this correctly. Okay, now let's figure out what the volumetric flow rates are. So the volumetric flow rate of 1 equals the mass over the density. And this equals 1. Conversion factor times... 285 pounds mass over the specific gravity. This equals 1.739 feet per hour, and this equals... Okay, and that solves the problem. All right, and that is it for problem number 3.5. Great. Thanks for joining me on this problem. If you noticed any errors that I made or skipped too many steps or something like that, I, I did jump through this one a little bit more. didn't show all of the unit conversions and things like that because I feel like if you've been following along from the beginning, um, you should be able to, to understand how those were done. Um, and so uh, if you have any questions about... Um, how I did that, though, um, feel free to, to watch the earlier videos, or you could put a comment in the comments section, and then I could respond to that as well. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.